just got to our room. He just unloaded the luggage. This room is reminding me of the hotel that Dylan, Emily, and I stayed at when we went to Vail. It's super cute. The bed right here, and then over here we have a fireplace, which I love. It's actually a huge room, which is nice, and they've had this on, so it's nice and warm in here. We have a cute, I mean, not really that good of a view, but at least we have a balcony, I mean, that's which is fun. Cool. Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> and then we've got a couch. Georgia plays soon, so we gotta get ready for dinner early. And then there's this huge bathroom, which is very nice. Like a little walk-in shower. I've had kind of a long travel day. I wanted to start off the vlog. I don't even think I've technically started off, but this is gonna be a week in Sedona, Arizona. I'm very excited. I've never been here before. We're here with Revolve doing a little wellness trip. We have like some fun things planned for the week. Um, I'm here with Cassidy and if you guys missed last vlog, Cassidy is Dylan's sister. You guys all feel like you know this by now, but she's here with me. I'm excited to just hang out for the week. I feel like it's going to be a chill weekend. We have dinner tonight at seven. It's currently like, what time is it? Four? Right now. Or is it later? Right now. Oh, perfect. It's three o'clock. We don't have dinner till seven. So we'll have plenty of time to like organize the room, unpack. I want to get dressed, get some photos and all that. But Georgia plays soon. I'm so excited and so nervous. Go dogs. Cass and I wore our Georgia stuff on the plane. I feel like every time I unpack and like organize my space, I feel like less hectic when we're getting ready and stuff, especially having two people like sharing bathroom and stuff. But luckily this room is so big and spacious and the bathroom is like double sinked and there's a ton of room and we just both unpacked our whole entire suitcases. So that's nice. We have dinner tonight at seven at the um, restaurant in the lobby of the resort, which I'm excited about. I'm gonna try to, well, we're gonna try to Georgia place today at 5.30. So we wanna obviously watch that, but um, there was a really cute like fireplace area right outside the restaurant that would be really pretty to go sit at and like have a glass of wine or champagne or drink or something so I think we're gonna go try and do that and then tonight there's also like stargazing which apparently it gets really really dark here at night which will be really fun and um, you can like see a ton of stars apparently because we're literally in the middle of nowhere we flew into the Phoenix airport and then there was a driver who brought us here to the we're staying at the enchantment resort in sedona um and it was like a two-hour drive it was honestly a really beautiful drive it went by super fast the driver was great and he like showed us around the town that we drove through and then we're here and it was literally like hiking up to the middle of nowhere so <laughs> that's always fun but i feel like these types of places are always in the middle of nowhere because it's like they need a lot of land and it's just very like secluded and very beautiful so if you guys are ever in sedona check out enchantment resort so far so good we got greeted with like apple cider it was so yummy he gave us a little tour of the um resort like main area the pool and all that stuff which we can show you guys later um or i think we were filming right a yeah. little bit and I now we're in the room Cassie got some footage for you guys. <laughs> Getting ready for dinner. I don't think you can really see me, but I ordered some room service for me and Cass because we just had a long travel day and we didn't really get to eat like a proper meal quite yet. So I ordered some, I just got like some appetizers. We got a Caesar salad, some French fries, and then chips and salsa. I'm using my new mirror. Showed you guys this in the last vlog. I really like it. This mascara is fantastic. Isn't it? It's drugstore. Are you serious? Yeah, I feel like mascara is such a, like a drugstore thing is such a good, is the way to go for mascara. That, it, that's, Wait, what am I trying to say? <laughs> that drugstore can be good. Like it doesn't need to be like. Yeah, like drugstore mascara is the way to go. I feel like. Well, that mascara is great. Oh, I definitely want part of my eyeliner. You what? I said I definitely want part of my eyeliner. No going back. It's fine. I also forgot lipstick. Well, I have lip liner, but just gloss. I hate how I did my bronzer, but like there's no going back. But this highlight is good my face is like going through it right now which is frustrating but i mean there's like nothing i can do 
this whole side of my face is like full on having a panic attack. <laughs> what is that TikTok? I'm about to have a panic attack. Just need some mascara and brows, which I'm gonna put my outfit on first and then do that. What? We ordered some room service. We got, I think I told you guys, a little salad and fries. This is the best combo, I feel like. And then some chips and salsa. I got a little spritz. I'm very excited. I'm so hungry. I need a big bowl. <laughs> it's so hot in this room. This is cute. I have had outfit issues today. I thought I liked my dinner outfit for tonight, and I just like never really tried it on at home, and then I ended up putting it on here and I don't like it. So we're going with a tight little skims dress, which I feel like you can never go wrong with. It's just the tank top one, but it's pretty chilly here. So I'm wearing just this leather bomber off of Revolve, really comfy. I love like the Sherpa um, neck. I would love if I had a Sherpa bag, that would be really cute, but I do not. I have in my gold Bottega earrings. I'm gonna carry a black purse and then I have on my black boots. So game starting, Cass and I are gonna watch in the room for like 30 minutes and we're gonna head to dinner. I'm so excited. Let's go. Love Brock Bowers. Me too. Love a good tight end. <laughs> Love a good tight end. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, y'all? I've been drinking the spritz for like 45 minutes. I down my red wine in like 20. Mm -hmm. You can't really see because it's dark, but this is like the main area of the hotel. There's like a gift shop. If you walk down, there's the pool and everything like you guys saw earlier. And then the restaurant. You guys, I'm so mad. We just got back to our room. Look, we literally, okay, what is this camera quality? We have our drinks, we just left dinner. Both of mine and Cassidy's keys don't work. It's like 30 degrees out. My hands are freezing and both of, we have no service here and we can't figure out how to get in and we're like trying to, oh wait, Cassidy got a, is he coming back? Yeah, I think he's done. <laughs> wait, what happened? Oh, he's getting our room key? Yes. Why are our room keys That's not working? I stood out there like I was hailing a taxi. I literally stood in the- I, stood I in, knew I brought you for a I reason. I stood in the room and I was like- <laughs> and then he was I like, was like- <laughs> He was like- <laughs> I know, I saw- I heard someone squeal the brakes and I was like, ooh, she must have found someone. <laughs> oh my god! You guys, the dogs are winning 45 to- Sick them! Let's do it. Wait, Cass. Mm. Let me be quiet because our name is too. Sing one of the songs so I can like do it. Go dogs! Go dogs! You're so talented. Think, imagine what how he's feeling. He's like done and he like he's literally done. won. I feel bad of what the score is though, like truly. I mean, I just can't believe that it's 52 to 7. I truly hate that this is how me like, too. It makes the score me, is. It makes me upset for TCU. The other team, and it also makes me upset for all of you guys watching that are TCU fans. <laughs> you didn't seem very genuine in that one. <laughs> I feel like this is an interview, the way I'm sitting right now with the camera. I, you guys, I don't think I've been that cold in a while. We went stargazing after dinner. Honestly, insane the amount of stars that are out here. It was here. beautiful. Like literally insane. I I could lay out and I could lay out and watch the stars. Yeah! <laughs> We're going back to back. Let's go dogs. Let's go dogs. <laughs> I'm happy for them, but I'm really sad to see you because it's just really messed up. Sixty-five to seven, my boy. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I just opened all the blinds and it turned on the fire. I love having a fire in a hotel room. I think it makes it feel so homey. You know, like think about it, like a normal hotel room doesn't have a fireplace. Have you ever had a hotel room with a fireplace? Yeah, in Colorado, it's like kind of normal. 
Really? In Vail, it, they had them, and then that's it. <laughs> we just woke up, and um, yeah, I feel like I just got hit by a car. <laughs> I'm like this. <laughs> um, we woke up at 5. Well, my first alarm went off at 4.55 because I was like rushed about timing, but we were supposed to go hot air balloon riding today, which would have been so fun, but we're like, so we wake up, Cassie and I are doing our hair in like dead silence because we're both like, don't talk to me, it's too early. <laughs> and so Cassie's like putting on foundation. I'm curling my hair and Kareen, one of the Revolve workers, texts me and goes, hi, sadly it's too windy this morning to go high air balloon riding. So I was like, Cassie, we're not going, I'm going back to bed. No, the best part is I'm putting, I have my foundation on and you just said, you just said, oh no, and I said, no. And I go, it's canceled. No. <laughs> Because you knew, because they told us like they were gonna schedule it for the first day for it possibly to get canceled because it like during the winter time it's like a little bit windier here and so they were gonna try it for the next day and then the next day, um, so it is rescheduled. So fingers crossed we still get to do it because that's always been something that I thought would be like so cool and fun to do. So, um, what? Yeah. Um, so that's what's up and now it's like eight thirty. Here, welcome, friend. I guess finish getting ready. <laughs> My hair is already curled. And go walk to the little cafe and get a coffee, some breakfast. I like really want a hot coffee. It's kind of chilly here. And I think I might get dressed in like a cute little outfit and have Cass take some pictures of me up at the resort. So that's what's going on. Good morning. I wanted to say hi and I'm just relaxing. I couldn't go right back to sleep. So I was on my phone doing some like work and then just like scrolling on my phone. And then, um, yeah. That's what's up. I just got all dressed. I'm wearing this really fluffy coat. You guys saw just some black trousers. I have this little white tee underneath and then some white sneakers. Just kind of comfy, cute. I love this jacket. So we're gonna run. Just in my hair and makeup. I actually filmed it for TikTok, this makeup, which is like my everyday makeup. So make sure you guys will follow me over on TikTok. I will link it below. It's always in the description of my videos as well as my Revolve favorites. I have an Amazon storefront up there too. I need to actually update my Amazon storefront because I've been like lately loving Amazon again. So I will try to do that for you guys, but all that stuff is always linked down below. But I'm waiting on Cassidy. She is finishing up blow drying her hair. She took a shower and then we're gonna go get some coffee. This is our room right here. There's like a bunch of, they're like little huts, I guess, but they're all connected. And then look at the view. It's so pretty. Okay, this is the main like lobby area and then we just came up this side, so this is the tennis courts, which we'll probably not be using. <laughs> Here is my favorite. There's like the pool, the restaurant, and the whole resort is just surrounded by like all these beautiful red rocks. I'm obsessed. market which is at the hotel you guys saw and I got an iced vanilla latte I was gonna get a hot coffee but I just needed to get iced and then I got a smoothie Cass got a bagel and coffee we're just sitting up here it's there's literally like no one here you guys it's crazy we're just sitting here having coffee and then a little fireplace it's not going right now but this is so pretty We got coffee and then we stopped by one of the Revolve Workers rooms and they had like a little bit of gifting stuff for us which is exciting. One of the days we're wearing Beyond Yoga which is a brand that I've known about for a long time but I actually don't own anything from them so I'm excited. This is like a fuzzy little pullover. I will link everything I'm wearing and show you guys in this 
video. I think I said that this morning in the description, but got this in a size large and it's so cozy. And then I ordered like a black jumper, but it didn't come in yet. They're like trying to figure out where the clothes are. So if it doesn't come in, I'll just wear like what I brought, but cute and comfy. They also gave us, which I'm so excited about. You guys know I love the base luggage and they gave us a backpack. This is like a little hiking backpack, which we're going. This is like a wellness trip, as you guys can tell. We're going to, we're doing like a bunch of activities and we're gonna do the Grand Canyon one day. And I was like, when I was packing, I was like, what am I gonna bring so I can bring my big camera? They just gave us these really cute base backpacks, which I can probably use multiple, multiple times for things. It's like their sport backpack. On Revolve, I'll link it. Comes in black too. You guys know I love the base luggage. And then also this. I actually might just bring this because I feel like it'll be big enough for my camera. And it's just like a base crossbody, which we all love. You can do it fanny pack style. You can like wear it so many ways. Yeah, super cute. I love this tan color. And then there's some other stuff in here. Revolve has a activewear brand called Wellbeing, and this is the Wellbeing Journal. Oh, this is the five minute journal. I've always wanted this. <laughs> Did you know that, Cass? Have you ever done no. five minute journal? No. Have you heard of it? No. I like wanted this. I've always wanted to be like the journal girl, <laughs> but I feel like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe 2023 I'll be the journal girl. But you like, Cassie, you would like this. Yes. I, like this I is very new. I immediately was like, that's going to be nice. <laughs> like you do. A year from now, you may wish you had started and then you put something and then you say the things you're thankful for, things you will do for your well-being and health today, mindful affirmation. And then at the nighttime, it like gives you like a little night section and then you do, how did I take care of myself today and what did I learn today? I love that. And there's like little quotes and... All that stuff. So I got a cream one. They had other colors too. And then we've got some well-being socks, which I should have grabbed more of these socks because they remind me of the Aritzia ones, the TNA Aritzia ones that I love. And they're super thick and cute cream. And they say well-being on there. Some hair ties, really cute little cap in this like mocha color. And then a Beyond Yoga water bottle. So those are all the goodies, which is very exciting. I'm always so thankful and excited when we get to pick out stuff. It's like honestly a dream, it's so fun. But I'm excited about the bags because I wasn't sure what I was gonna carry all my stuff in when it came to hiking. Now you don't have to shove everything in your backpack, Cass. Mm -hmm. So that'll be I mean, good. Yeah. So that's that, we have pottery at two o'clock, it's like, 12 right now, I am gonna relax. My bowl is done. I did two colors. I did the color on the inside, color on the outside, and then I wrote 2023 in black on the bottom. When they put it in the, it's like a really big oven, I guess, and it glazes the colors. They come out much darker. So it looks like it's all one color, but it's different colors on inside and outside. And then Cassidy over here is going full um, bohemian on us. <laughs> I'm so stressed out. Much later, you guys, we're going to dinner. This is the first time we are leaving the resort for dinner, which I'm excited about. They're doing like a family style dinner situation and they place like a big order for everyone. We're gonna sit, have drinks, dinner, all that stuff, it'll be fun. Pottery class was so fun. I feel like I need to do that more. <laughs> it was like very relaxing and just like a good time. We got to like have drinks, talk to, People, Cassie took 45 hours to paint her plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This makes a noise. Wait, that's the rain. <laughs>
to go. Um, I think that we're going to be able to go hot air ballooning today. We haven't got a text that it's been canceled yet, so that's exciting. Um, I've always wanted to do this, so I'm really excited, minus like the super early wake-up call. Um, but I'm all ready to go. I'm just wearing like such a casual outfit, this leather bomber I wore the first day, some like little slacks, and then some sneakers. I had on like a puffer jacket and stuff because I thought it would be cold, but I was worried that I would get a little bit too hot, and then I'd have to leave the jacket on, so the little white tee under this. And then they told us to bring or wear a hat because the top of your head po like could possibly get hot. What? Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Canceled. <laughs> it literally just got canceled, you guys. We're going to go the golf cart. We're just going to go get coffee now because might as well. You guys, <laughs> from the time of my last clip till now, it's only been like 10 minutes and a lot, oh, there's, I thought there was a step right there. A lot has gone down. Um, it, it, hot air balloon <laughs> got canceled again. A lot has happened. <laughs> Apparently, I was like, I don't get it. Like I asked her, cause I'm like, it's, the, the days here are so beautiful. And I'm like, why, how do we get down? Oh, here. I'm like, why does it keep getting canceled? Like it's so early, it's literally pitch black. And she was saying how, um, Oh look, there's other girls and they're fully ready. <laughs> oh, wait, Cass, how do we get going, down? Keep going. Oh, okay. And um, they said that this place—I don't know, like what the company's called or like who they do it through, because it's not on the resort. They have like a perfect track record, or track record of no one ever getting hurt because they're so cautious with the weather, which I appreciate. But I'm also like, we could go for a little windy ride. <laughs> We could take but, a little little gust of wind. So we came up we came up here because we were like already ready. We got the text when we were on the golf carts saying that it was canceled, so we just got I can't see shit. We're this also we're probably gonna get hit. Is this, is this where we're supposed to be going? Yeah, because like this is the tennis courts. Okay. Yeah. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Is that the tennis? Oh it is the tennis court. Yeah. Um so we just sorry, you guys also can't see anything. It's like literally pitch black. <laughs> but um we just made a little tea and we're gonna go back to the room. Cassidy is gonna go f back to sleep. I'm gonna try to lay down for a second, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> so I might just edit a video or something. Okay, good morning, you guys. Um, take two of today. Am I in the right setting? I can't see. Back take two of the day. We just took some naps, I guess slept in a little bit more. It's like nine o'clock now. Cass and I are heading to get some breakfast. We just like walked through here. This is where I was vlogging early, early this morning when it was like pitch black outside. But I have on a little sweat set jacket. It feels nice out. We're gonna get some coffee and breakfast. Got an ice vanilla latte. It looks so yummy. Oh yeah, look at that. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much, it looks great. incredible. Just wrapped up breakfast. I came to the gym for a little bit. We have like some free time this morning since the hot air balloon didn't work out. We're doing a sunset hike at three o'clock, but it's only like 10.30 right now, so. Gym here is super nice. There's like a bunch of um, cardio and stuff. They have like a really cute fireplace, a bunch of candles. They have like hot towels. It's like super cute in here. We're doing a hike today, like I just said, so I'm not gonna do any cardio. I'm just gonna do some like toning. So here we go. Sorry, I have gum and I just put a piece of gum in. We just left lunch and I got some content. I didn't bring my vlog camera because I was just like finishing up some stuff for Instagram. And I'm out here, Cass and I just got ready. We're doing a sunset hike, like the whole group. And it's with Beyond Yoga, which is a really 
nice activewear set. So I'm wearing this cute set from Beyond Yoga. Little bra and leggings. I love these leggings because I love the little tie. It cinches in your waist and it's like super comfy. The material is like butter soft. And then I just threw this on over it because I figured I'd be a little bit cold. I put my hat on and then some braids and then they also gave us hiking boots, which these ones I'm wearing, they're from the brand Ghani. I originally asked them for black leggings, but they didn't come in time. So I have these teal ones, which are cute, but obviously the hiking boots don't really match, but it's fine because they're comfy and I don't want to be like twisting my ankle on some rocks or something. I don't know the hardness level of this <laughs> sunset hike. So we'll see, but I'm excited to like go to the top, see the sunset, it's clear skies right now. So we should have a pretty good sunset, so I'm excited. I hope you we made it to the top, you guys. <laughs> it was only like, what, 0.7 up? But it was like very um, crazy. Like there was like narrow areas, not narrow areas, like really high steps. So it took a little bit to get up here, but look at how beautiful. I feel like, this is how I felt in Colorado. I feel like over camera and photos, it doesn't do it justice Never. like it would in real life. Find luck like a bet in Greek fountains Or lay lazy in bed with your head on my chest Okay, we just walked back to the other side. Look at this view, you guys. It's insane. This is a cliff right here. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. Good morning, you guys. I can like literally not see anything. Good morning. Cass and I are sitting, having coffee, and it's so sunny out. We're sitting by the fire. It's been so nice. We've got coffee and I got a blueberry. I'll show you guys. I got this blueberry muffin that's literally huge. It's like almost the size of my hand. Fire, we have this beautiful view. This is like one of my favorite places in our on the resort to sit. Came here like almost every day. We took pictures here the first day, it was so pretty. Today for like events and stuff, uh, we had like a group trip to the Grand Canyon, but last night I started to like not feel the best and it's like a long day. They left at like 8 a.m. They get back around 6.45. It's like a two hour drive there and a two hour drive home. And I was like, I don't wanna like start feeling sick while we're there. Um, and like be miserable the whole day. So we're just laying low at the resort. We're just like chilling. It's our last day here. We leave tomorrow morning at 11. So we're just enjoying the sun shine because I'm sure it's raining in Nashville <laughs> and just having some coffee and stuff. We're gonna take a few more pictures and do content and stuff that is required and needed for the trip. I'm gonna go back. I didn't put makeup on this morning. I like just have like a little comfy outfit on. I didn't do any makeup because I'm gonna um, put some gym clothes on and go back to the gym. I woke up feeling very sore, like my stomach and my glutes and like hamstrings. And I'm like, honestly, that's such a good feeling knowing like what I did at the gym did something to my body. So I'm gonna go back. And I think Cassie's gonna join me this time. We're Tread just do a nice little walk. Treadmill gal. I might do 12, 3.30 because we didn't end up going to the Grand Canyon. So we didn't get about 3.30, maybe some abs, some arms. I can't see anything. I hope this is in focus. Look at us, gym girls. 2023, <laughs> who are we? Um, we're gonna go to the gym. I'm hoping there's not a lot of people in there because yesterday when I went, there was no one there and it was so nice. Do a little walk on the treadmill and then maybe some abs and stuff, but I just finished up editing a video. So we were in the room for like two hours and just kind of packing up, organizing the room since we leave tomorrow, but we're gonna get our sweat on. Let's do it. today like at all because we've literally just been relaxing and taking it slow after the gym I came back edited a video we've been hanging out and now we're going heading to the last dinner and then we head out tomorrow um I'm doing I'm doing no makeup dinner because I am so over putting makeup on my face every day I feel like my face is just not doing well. So we're in this like little casual outfit. I'm gonna put some black boots on and some like a little black jacket. These are like my favorite trousers. I got them off Revolve and I have them in 
in a blue color too, like a little baby color. I honestly probably need to iron that a little bit more, but 